Welcome to Fundigin. This time we found ourselves at the Obiwali Conference Center to celebrate the legend that is Elichi Amadi. A stage adaptation of his play Isiburu Ibiri was reenacted to kick off the one week long celebrations of his death. <laughs> The play saw a fantastic performance from veteran Nollywood actor Francis Duru as the lead character Isibu. <laughs> Also present at the event was the Deputy Governor of River State, Dr. Mrs. Ipalibo, representing Governor Yeso Wiki, who officially flagged off the one week long activities in honor of the late literary icon. In his opening remarks, former Governor of River State, Celestine Omehia, said this about Isiburu and Lichiamadi. People who celebrated things for the past, people celebrated many other in their own way. Today, we shall, put, we shall tell the world that a book greater than things fall apart is with us. We shall tell the world that a river state was a man who is greater than all other authors put together. And I'm sure that the whole seven days set aside for this program, River State will be remembered all over the world. We also caught up with the director of the play, Dr. Ovunda, backstage as the cast was getting ready to hit the stage. Yes, let me start from my cousin of Isiburu. Uh, I had this battle of also getting a celebrity. Elechiamadi's lines in Isiburu are written in verse. And so it was not about celebrity, but an actor who is a celebrity. Not all celebrities are good actors. There are few actors who are celebrities. And one of such is Francis Duru. Um, in the course of the play, you will understand what I'm saying. Um, he, he, in, he understands the import of the lines. When I also directed the stage adaptation of Concubine, I cast him as a Kweme, and by then, the late Lechamade was alive, and he, he enjoyed himself and really gave thumbs up to Francis Zuru. So I felt, why not? We want to celebrate this man again. Let me bring back Francis Zuru to celebrate him. Rest members of the cast are diligent, professional actors, most of them from the University of Port Harcourt. Some of them are members of staff, lecturers, you know, who are professional actors in the field. Some also came in from town who are graduates of the department, but have done one or two works with me as concerns in the this place. So I thought that this is a time for a homecoming for all of us to come together. Since we have a direct contact with this man, to also celebrate him and um, make the moment memorable. Just like Dr. Ovunda said, Francis Duru was indeed a great choice as lead actor. And here he is summarizing what the play Isiburu Iberi is about and of course the role he plays. Uh, my name is Francis Duru. I am Isiburu Iberi, the crab that swims across the mighty waters of Abaji. Uh, it's indeed a beautiful role and the character itself is that which demands some level of uh, creativity and skills and experience to thrive. Uh, Isibru, like you all know, it's a, it's, a, it's a legacy project that we are doing. For the character Isibru is a wrestling champion who has consistently uh, exhibited his excellent uh, performance six times and the seventh year that he's supposed to become a legend, the gods demand his sacrifice. Yeah, 
is uh, is caught between serving the gods or for uh, forfeiting six years of being a champion and forfeiting the legendary feat that he has so desired. In the course of it, uh, he decides to take go his way towards a championship and wins the seventh time. Coming back home to celebrate, only to find out that his slave boy has destroyed his pot of life. <laughs> And for him, he accuses the gods, you know, for having a hand in his demise. Because naturally, the potency of uh, the power that surrounds him has it that nobody can actually uh, mess it up. But if it has so happened, it means the, the gods are behind it. <laughs> But at the end of the day, it's just to prove the power of divinity over humanity. At the end of the day, he dies. But uh, divinity also says, good, you are still the choice. So at the end of the day, he becomes the victor, the legend, and he also becomes the one who, who is stepping into the shoes of uh, the high priest of Amadioha. That's it. <laughs>
it's been wonderful rehearsal so wonderful and subtle not so hectic because uh, one is dealing with uh, professionals uh, I've been so impressed to have worked with uh, uh, some graduate and undergraduate students of uh, uh, Department of Theatre at the University of Portacourt so it's been more or less complementing effort and leveraging on our expertise, experience and competence to come up with something worthwhile. The director himself has been so wonderful. Uh, I feel so proud of him because uh, I think it was when I left the university that he came in and to see uh, what he has done, the institutions he has built, I'm so impressed. I'm so proud of him and I think it's been a wonderful one. Were there any challenges for you doing this? Well, life itself must have challenges, but I see those challenges as more or less a, a stepping stone to the excellence we have. So, none that one can remember. If for you to like, you know, actually uh, uh, chisel out a good play, you must go through some uh, obstacles. But those obstacles are not domineering; rather, they inspire you to give it uh, to give your best shot. And I think we have a good play. Thank you. Before the play began, we got a chance to speak with some attendees. Um, I'm here in honor of a great icon, a father in the entertainment industry and literature as well, even in terms of governance. Um, his play Isiburu, which today is being directed by Ovunda, Dr. Ovunda Ehumwo, a great lecturer at the University of Port Harcourt, my one of my best lecturers. And some of the major roles, like Isibru, who should be played by Francis Duru, the expectation is high. Dr. Edwardson Imo, who is going in for Abarakwe, I don't expect anything less. The entire play from the beginning, if I should even describe it, I would say we'll have it like running climax or true. But I'm expecting the best because it's like a colony of professionals coming together to honor our own father, our father in the industry world. My name is Yeni Anifawashe. I'm here to see festivals of play. I am excited. I'm looking forward to it being a great show. And the fact that Francis Duru is on the show as well is absolutely brilliant as well. Elechi Amadi, God rest his soul. He has actually impacted literature, Nigeria, and my life as a whole, you know. And, you know, it's a great tribute to be doing this kind of thing for him. Do I think there should be more plays like this in, you know, in Port Harcourt or in Nigeria? Absolutely, because I grew up with stage plays at, you know, the cultural center um, towards town, and I grew up with that. And over the years, it has been short. So if people can come together, bodies especially, can come together to put more plays like this, it will be absolutely brilliant and needed for our younger generations. I miss that actually, so I'm looking forward to more plays. Thank you. We played Isiburu as students at the University of Odakot Theatre. And today I'm watching others play it. And of course, for those who are in the artistic world, work like Lichi Amadi's Isiburu is a work that uh, is timeless. And to wrap up the play, Ibiere performed her new single, More Love. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to Gemini James Media. Until the next event, have yourself a fantastic day.